Welcome to this week's edition of Military News Review from our News and Current Affairs Department. It is a program that highlights major military events of the week. Nigerian Army, in the week under review, has announced the commencement of the 2019 Direct Short Service and Short Service Commission recruitment process. The Acting Military Secretary, Army Headquarters, Brigadier General Gabriel Ochibano, who met the announcement in a statement, said that applicants are to do only one registration. According to him, the exercise will close 28 September 2019, as application commenced 14 August 2019. He added that any application prior to this date is void and urged applicant to log on to www.nigerianarmyms.ng to create an account. As part of the tour of formations and units under two division, the general officer commanding two division Nigerian Army, Major General Anthony Bamidele Omozaje, within the past week, visited the Nigerian Army Forward Operation Base at Odekiti to ascertain the level of preparedness of the troops and structures of the FOB. Deputy Director Army Public Relations, two division Nigerian Army, Colonel Hassan Ifeje Mohammed, in a statement, said the general officer commanding advised the officers and men to remain professional and responsive at all time in the discharge of their duty. During his visits, the General Officer Commanding also paid a courtesy call on His Royal Majesty, the Olode of Ode Oba Samuel Adara Adiriye, in his palace, where he conveyed a goodwill message of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuka Burutai, to His Royal Majesty. Responding, Oba Samuel Adara Adiriye thanked the Nigerian Army for citing the FOB at Ode Okiti. Headquarters Sector 2, Operation Lafayette Dole in Damatru last week, held a luncheon to commemorate Edu Kabir's celebration. Delivering his remarks during the luncheon, the Acting Commander Sector 2, Brigadier General I.S. Ali, represented by the Chief of Staff, Colonel C.A. Bauche, seized the opportunity to convey the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukuru Yusuf Brate's goodwill message for Edu Kabir's celebration to the troops. General Ali commended the troops for their great sense of dedication to duty and enjoin them to remain steadfast and always at alert. Nigerian Army, during the week under review, said the military is doing a lot to foster unity in the country as many operations entail civil military relations. The Commandant, Nigerian Army Depot, Major General Sani Mohammed, stated this in an interview with newsmen in Zaria at a Depot Salah Children Party organized by the authorities of the Depot. General Mohammed said the military also deserve leisure aside its main duty of defending and protecting the nation's territorial integrity. He said that the event was to create opportunity for officers, soldiers and their families to interact and strengthen relationship, noting that training is one of the high points of military activities. General Mohammed added that the event had provided the opportunity for the depot to interact with its surrounding communities, including Anguan Gwadu and Anguan Malam Sule, with a view to bringing cohesion to the society. General Officer Commanding 2 Division Nigerian Army, Major General Anthony Bamidele Omozaje within the past week, paid a maiden visit to the 4 Brigade Formation and Units in Benin City. A statement issued by the Deputy Director, Army Public Relations, 2 Division, Nigerian Army, Colonel Hassan Mohammed, said General Officer Commanding GOC, who toured the facilities in the barracks, was received by the Commander 4 Brigade, Brigadier General G.O. Morogbe, at the headquarters 4 Brigade, Benin City. According to him, Major General Anthony Omoza in his address advised the officers to remain professional, knowledgeable and responsive in the execution of their duties, while he commended the professional turnout of the soldiers at the Headquarters 4 Brigade Quarter Guard. Earlier, the Commander Headquarters 4 Brigade, Benin City, Brigadier General G.O. Moregwe, acquitted the GOC with the activities, achievements and challenges of the formation, as well as the newly commissioned Solar Power Central Light, noting that the essence of the facility was to boost illumination, especially in absence of electricity. The General Officer Commanding therefore visited the Nigerian Army School of Supply and Support, where he commissioned a driving model room and also visited 322 Regiment as part of his visit, while he addressed the personnel to remain loyal, committed and dedicated to their service. The Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Siddiq Abubakar, during the past week, said the military had substantially contained emerging banditry in some part of the country, in addition to the successes recorded in the fight against insurgency in the northeast. Air Marshal Abubakar was in Yola, 
to celebrate the Edil Kabir with officers and men of the Air Tax Force engaged in the fight against insurgency in the Northeast. He said the Nigerian Air Force would continue to motivate its personnel to boost their morale in the task of keeping Nigeria and the society safe. According to him, the Nigeria Air Force has established the quick response units in some states to bring security closer to the people. He also lauded Nigerians for their understanding and urged the public to do more in terms of volunteering timely and relevant information to security agencies. While reiterating the commitment of Nigeria Air Force to ensuring the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Nigeria, the Chief of Air Staff lauded the performances of officers and men of the Air Tax Force noting that his decision of always making festive periods with them at the front line was among others to appreciate them and boost their morale to do more in discharging their assigned task. Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, during the week under review, urged its personnel to be proactive while discharging their duties in order to ensure high level of aircraft and equipment serviceability, as well as robust logistic support for enhanced combat readiness to deal with security threats in the country. Air Marshal Abubakar disclosed this in his goodwill message to the officers, airmen, airwomen and civilian staff of the Nigerian Air Force in Abuja, wishing them a happy Eid al-Kabir. According to him, it is gratifying to know that the gallant pilots as well as regiments and special forces of the Nigerian Air Force are adapting to the ever-changing nature of these threats and making good progress, urging them to continue to evolve new ways of dealing with emerging issues in order to bring soccer to people in the areas affected by security challenges. The Air Chief noted that the service would strive to consolidate and work with sister services and other stakeholders to rid the nation of threats to her security and development, stressing that in the course of their duties, the personnel must always operate within the ambit of the extant local and international laws, while showing compassion and respect for all law-abiding citizens. Air Marshal Abubakar also commended the air officers commanding, commanders, supervisors and all its personnel for their untiring efforts and commitments to improving personnel welfare. He therefore enjoined the personnel to redouble their efforts in dealing decisively with all members of the state while remaining professionals in the discharge of their duties. Nigerian Air Force in the past week invited 1,830 candidates who scaled through its examination and selection process for training and recruitment into the force. This was disclosed by Air Vice Marshal Mahmoud El Haji Ahmed on behalf of the Chief of the Air Staff. He explained that those invited were successful candidates at the Nigeria Air Force 2019 recruitment exercise, while the candidates are to report for training at the Nigerian Air Force Base, Kao Kaduna. Nigerian Air Force also directed that candidates should report at the training venue with original and photocopies of their credentials and other items and a total of 50 candidates were shortlisted from each state of the Federation, while 30 were selected from the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. He added that underlisted candidates are to report with the following original and photocopies of credentials and with the following material, two white t-shirts, two blue PT shorts, one pair of white canvas shoes, three pairs of white socks, three pairs of national dress, two white shirts, one black tie and two black trousers. The executive governor of Adama State, His Excellency Amadu Umaru Fintiri, within the week under review, commended the troops of the Air Tax Force of Operation Lafayette Dole for their immense sacrifices in the fight against insurgency as well as securing the territorial integrity of the country. The governor met this known while speaking as the special guest of honor at the luncheon organized by the Nigerian Air Force to celebrate the Idil Kabir with the frontline troops in Yola, the Adamal state's capital. Governor Fintiri said the contributions of the Nigerian Air Force troops in the ongoing counterinsurgency operation could not be overemphasized, just as he promised to pay the 2020 West African Examination Council and National Examination Council fees of children and words of Nigerian Air Force personnel. In his address, the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abu Bakr, appreciated troops for their contributions and sacrifices in order to ensure that Nigeria and Nigerians are secured. He urged them to work much harder to ensure that the country is safe, as security was a prerequisite for national development. 
the chief of the air staff therefore noted that the Nigerian Air Force, alongside other security agencies, was making substantial progress in terms of dealing with the banditry in the Northwest and would continue to work round the clock to ensure that security is brought closer to the Nigerian people.